Howdy, I'm Brock England. Welcome back to Wheel Love. We have got a real treat for you this time. We've got a peach of a 1954 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. This car is just breathtaking. Uh, it's owned by a gentleman named Clay Benson. He's gonna talk about it and I think you're gonna enjoy this. Stay tuned, thanks for watching. Fifty-four, first year of power window, I mean, electric windows. Your typical arm hang out the window. You know, you can see that you're down to the original primer here. Part of the raising is vacuum operated and part of it is manual, so we'll do the manual part. Pick up all the AM stations you want. This was a 54 only color called Iris, and the fact that it's in as good a shape as it's in, being 62 or 63 years old, that's part of its mystique and that's part of what's really cool about it, is there's just not many cars left that are dead original that are this old. So I got this car in 2011. It, uh, out of Pennsylvania, and the, was the vice president of the Central Texas Cadillac Club at the time, and had owned three 54 Cadillacs prior to this one. The 54 is my favorite here. It's just quintessential. It was when the Cadillacs got a little bit lower, a little bit sleeker, and right as they were starting to get to the maturity of the Dagmars, which are the, the bullets on the front end, Let's just face it, Cadillac is, it's luxury. Their, their slogan was standard of the world. And they weren't wrong. I mean, sure there was Rolls Royce, but there wasn't that wide of a gap between a Rolls Royce and a Cadillac. I tend to associate the nicer cars that I have with whatever girl I'm dating at the time. That car is associated with a girl that's no longer around, and so, um, you know, and that triggered the, the usual behavior. You know, as soon as uh, she inevitably, you know, is gone, uh, I put that car up for sale, you know, and I, I said, you know, this is, this is what happens. And then I stopped myself having history as the context and said, you know, Okay, well, I'm not gonna lose both of the things that I love. Like, I lost one of them, I, I can't lose both. And so I took it down, and yeah, it's a constant reminder of, you know, that failed relationship. Um, but that's okay, you know, because I'm in love with everything that happened with that. And it's a happy memory, it's a connection. She loved that car. That's who that car is to me. That's the memory I've got left. And who can beat the horn? <laughs> Other side. <laughs> 